Greetings, this is Femi the Dry Fish, represent Nigeria by way of London, living in the United States. I am a poet, lyricist, writer, performer, part-time river dancer, you want to say it, I'm doing it. I'm Fred Joyner, and you're about to witness Africa in Motion. Africa in Motion is a celebration of African independence and through the arts, through poetry. The event is comprised of poetry, music, different forms of art that are represented by different countries in Africa. There's a lot of music around the world, but because it's not presented in English language, or it's not uh, up to par. So uh, music from uh, Nigeria, from Zimbabwe, from Australia, from uh, Brazil need to be heard also on the same plane with uh, every other music so that you know, people can have a, it's a balanced act. It's a rhythmic balanced diet, you know. Today I'm over at uh, the Smithsonian Museum, a museum of African art, ready to rock uh, Africa in motion. So I'm um, excited, ready for it. And I don't have my top hat on yet, but it will be on in a minute. And I have my makeup on ready, and we're going to rock it out tonight. My first poem is a reflection of what Femi, when I was just speaking to him a few minutes ago, told me was rebellion. Um, it's a poem called 22, and uh, there's a lot in there about growing up as a young woman in America, but my father is Nigerian, and that's a battle every day. I'm 23 now, and we still argue about stuff like I'm five. Uh, so with that, Daddy, ten fingers cannot contain the amount of times that I've been drunk. And I have been that girl at hotel or house party, once sunken into the other side of college life, the one who couldn't recall what she did last night, but you still love me, right? Now less than childlike character has fractured, far past midnight mistakes nearly captured along virgin thigh walls through cracks of si campus sidewalk, your little girl's innocence falls and passes like a midterm paper deadline. Daddy, I'm just fine with what I've experienced, but are you? I own every temporary lapse in judgment cause they are what I've done, not what I do. This is reality. If a rose can grow from concrete, then butterflies can blossom from roaches. Like a masterpiece unveiling from its putrid cocoon, like the son of man born from a miracle whore with wings stitched in struggle, each behemoth flap cracking like Haiti to an earthquake pulse hiding God's distorted image you were made informed in waters dancing to the metronome of shaking ground so they look to the blue sky painted in their ribcage and pray for the sun beating inside of their chest to come soon because the rain doesn't always wash the ugliness away. It often makes things uglier and Katrina likes to be the prettiest and baddest woman in town black and gold bodies and cockroaches crawling in her room she reeks of disaster with levees exploding between her legs so her waters could break giving birth to a third world country dressed in an American flag with a heartbeat that sounds like helicopters flying over a drowning family so how can we make it in a world 
filled with boys in striped pajamas who once were too young to understand the ugliness of the world of men with eyes shaped like swastikas of men who too were blind to see that they shouldn't make the best cockroaches at a hotel in Rwanda as they helplessly tried to spread their wings and soar you're a broken butterfly Eve who's eaten up too many lives from the Adam's apple of a man that has turned your inner beauty into the ugliest of things but understand to feel life's beauty is to feel the beauty in one's own life. Quote, and I'm quoting myself because I'm that egotistical. <laughs> Dependent on perception, forced dependence upon a nation, then offering them independence and fractions is a clever way of controlling the captives and the oppressor's absence. End quote. We all speak some old Euro speech mixed into our native language. Blood spilled drops and water diluted, no longer pure liquid. The glory of European conquest. An infestation type infection that never leaves. Even after you cure the disease. Virus forever in the system. Flip coin of slavery. Colonization like a home invasion. Door kicked open. Hostage situation without a ransom. Refrigerator raided. Golden diamonds confiscated. Minerals used up to the last drop. Masses kidnapped, traded across Atlantic. While we stayed home. Playing host to invaders that rape resources. Terrorize territory. Barbarians are so sophisticated. And we so demand domesticated, dependent on forced dependence, with a vice grip chokehold that squeezes the river now dry as they drank wealth and riches, bathed in brutality of our pains. It's not racism when we're not considered human beings anyway. Freedom is overpriced, comes with a late fee that cheapens life compared to those who have died, and they scramble for Africa, a monopoly board game well played, and we the pieces com controlled by the heartless hand of fate that covers eyes and face, so blinded independence true lies we celebrate. They never remove from our backs the knife. They broke off the hang handle, leaving the blade deep inside, eternally bleeding outcry. Slowly we die in due time. They offered us aid in the form of experiments, apocalyptic horsemen plague, spreading fear that spawned from the idea on a fleet of ships that set sail, stumbled upon foreign land, planted a flag in the sand, claimed it in the name of ruling the Europeans, completely ignoring the fact the continent already had living inhabitants. But we're here. And we all celebrate it and enjoy it and be a part of it. And we're going to be represented in it. And we're going to stand out. And we're going to get our just due. But we got to fight for it because it's ours too. that brother with a Celtics jacket on in front. Everybody can see him. He's about seven years old, right? I got it right. And you too. I'm not leaving you out. I really don't like the Celtics, but uh, I like you because you're the first one to clap. He started that clapping that you guys were doing uh, on the last song. He... So give him a round of applause. Don't be shy. In fact, you know what? Come. Anybody got a chair or something? Come and sit with me. We're going to do this together. Can you do that? Come, come sit with me. So it's going to look like a duet. Oh, you're running away. Oh, he's not running away. He's like really serious. what you can do whatever you feel it inside your soul just do it and it's gonna work right whatever comes to mind just follow the rhythm you ready what's your name Isaiah Isaiah give it up for Isaiah we didn't plan this this is not like the Grammy Awards like we already trained we already trained Isaiah backstage you know <laughs> This is impromptu. You ready? So give me one of these. Can you do that? You got it. I'm here to 
Hey! 